Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is The Cayman and I am currently a university student studying computer science and psychology at Wilfrid Laurier University. I am spending my time exploring design, self-development, and personality types, MBTI, however you want to call it. In this video I'll be explaining to you the importance of a morning routine and how to be productive through a morning routine and get your day off to a great start. I'll first be explaining why a morning, ah, why a morning routine is great, letting you enjoy some footage of me walking my dog in the background, and then moving on to actually explaining what my routine actually is, intertwining why I do these things, and how they can be productive for you. If you want to skip straight to the routine, I'll link, I'll have it time stamped below and on screen right here. Just click on it. The morning is the most crucial part of the day and where most people mess up. Most people will wake up, browse social media, skip breakfast, ignore their minds and body. I should know, I spent the last two years waking up at 12 p.m. In reality, a good start to your day will set the tempo for the rest of your day. The goal of a morning routine is to wake up your mind and body to release hormones that will change your mindset to a positive mindset and prepare yourself for your day. Let's get into it. I first wake up at 6.30 a.m. While this is hard at first, making sure you go to bed early enough is crucial to make this work and you'll get used to it in a few days. Don't set multiple alarms. If you don't have a safety net, your chances of waking up are much, much higher. I immediately get up, feed my cat if she asks, and go sit down at my desk. This is one of the most important parts of the day to become productive. I write down on a piece of paper all the things I want to do that day with a time constraint by which I need to get that activity done. I finish it off by writing down one thing I'm grateful for. This is key as gratitude releases cortisol, dopamine, and serotonin. I'll link below a study by Sarah Gottfried if you'd like to know more. At 6.37, I sit on my bed and begin 10 minutes of meditation. It's important to eliminate negative thoughts, worries, anxiety, and factors that prevent our happiness. I would recommend an app called Headspace to properly learn how to meditate. I have usually got around 10 to 13 minutes at this point, to which I dedicate the time to being creative. While you sleep, you unconsciously develop the ideas circulating in your mind. I usually draw, jot down logo ideas, or attempt to learn a piece of piano. It's 7am, time for exercise. You can go to the gym or even do push-ups wherever you are. Personally, I've got a dog to walk. So this is the perfect opportunity for me to stretch my legs and run around before I spend 8 hours sitting at my desk, grinding out my work. The walk usually takes OG and I 30 minutes, and I'm decently hungry when I get back. Currently, I eat mini Weenie Bix and milk, making sure to put the cereal before the milk. I know the meme is dead, but please unsubscribe if you put the milk first. Ideally, I should be eating fruit and some version of oatmeal and grains, but I haven't figured out that quite yet. Here comes the traditional stuff, just brushing my teeth and taking a shower. It'll be the summer soon, so I'll be to take cold showers again. You should try it. I'll put a link below with a study regarding the benefits of cold showers. I'll save you the long read and let you know that it's worth it. Before I sit down and start working, I clean my desk and room. It's important to have a fresh start every morning and not let piles start building up. It's usually 8 a.m. at this point. My mind and body are fully awake and I'm ready to get my day started. And that's it. Remember, if you create a morning routine of your own, or you follow mine. It's important to stay consistent rather than doing a lot in one day and ignoring the routine for the next few days. Taking a break is fine, but again, consistency is key. So just like my break is on Sundays, your break can be whatever, but it doesn't matter. So don't try to add too many things to your routine too quickly, otherwise that can become really counterproductive and destroy the whole point of a routine because you're just gonna be burnt out and you're just gonna fall off and not do it. I really hope you enjoyed the video and possibly learned something from this. If you have a morning routine you'd like to share or just anything you'd like to share, feel free to write down in the comments below. I'll be checking regularly and answering if there are any comments. I hope so. Make sure you do. I'll respond to every one of you. Um, goodbye for now.